What is up you guys and welcome back to the channel today. We got another mod that uh, I'm pretty excited about um, It's one of the best mods. I think I've made so far and it's BAM It's that shit right there It's uh, Aeroflow Dynamics. I think it's called the Aeroflow the front splitter So today we're gonna be installing this front stiller stiller <laughs> splitter me and my boy Faustino right over there. Woke his ass up. He's all hanged over, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Um, I got a few more mods coming soon. And uh, yeah, let's get right to this. There it is, bros. This is the hardware that it comes with. A bunch of screws, nuts. And washers oh and the arrow full sticker son I'm gonna get five horsepower from that 100% so just take off the bumper we're just gonna take off the bumper you've seen that on my last video on my last two videos or something like that yeah we take it off the bumper yeah bro okay, let's just jack it up in the middle under. we don't need to jack it up the bumper comes off without jacking it up. All you take off is these screws right here. Oh, yeah, true, true. You remember? Yeah, and then just screw holes at the bottom. And uh, I'm gonna show you that in a second. We got the bumper out. So now we're just gonna drill some holes. Here's the hardware we have to use for it right here. And I got, I went to my local Right here so I went to my local Home Depot got some drills to make the extra holes and a couple of clamps to hold it down and some painters tape it's pretty much all you need to get all these um, this installed oh. all right guys so this is the hardest part pretty much you just have to line it up I'm gonna line it up to this point leave a little gap there and try to leave another gap here so we're gonna drill the first hole on that side but uh lining it up that's the hardest part i will say so i gotta i'm holding it down right now with clamps faustino is gonna drill the holes and uh we'll go from there yeah, yeah so we got this weird looking thing this nut at the end doesn't go anymore it's just it just tightens there it doesn't go in so what you do is you take these two out obviously you put this one in and then when you put that one in now you put this and this washer on this side so it stays up against this oh shit we'll get that after so it stays yeah. up against this and then these two on the other side so each side has a nut and washer at the same time Yeah, bro. That's why I bought them. Yeah. Alright, so we already drilled. We drilled this hole here. Uh, the one there. And now we're gonna do this one. Where's my steel? This is the hardest part, just trying to line it up because it doesn't really like align well. It's a little off. So you gotta have to use your judgment. Yeah. Nice work. 
<laughs> so yeah, so all you gotta do is pretty much do the same thing for each one of these and you'll be fine. So, so the first thing right here, this is gonna be like the layout. It's gonna be um obviously a washer first, then on the inside you wanna put a washer, not not washer, and then the nylon. Um not there. And you should be all set. It's pretty much for all of them. That's mm -hmm. right. Alright, so yeah. So first thing you need to do is tighten this one up. You need to grab it. Yeah, the, the, well, the first one that you want to tighten is the, the one out here. The one out there, yeah. yeah that one. What you do is, you, you hold this, and with a drill, you just turn it. Yeah. Until it, until you have, you know, a distance. And then the second one you want to tighten up is this one. That's it. That's a tiny little more. And then the last one is this one right here. The one on the inside, yep. The middle. You see? What it does is it's gonna pull this nut closer without turning this one at all. Yeah, that's the process right there. So that way you have that little space in between them. Yep. So it's nice and flush and straight. And you won't have that gap, that gap that I had in there. It was right like in, in between yeah. the this lip. One here too. It looks, it's still, it's still, you can see the little gap, but the thing is the lip was already warped. Yep. If you was to heat it up and like, you know, press it against it with clamps, it'll be good, but it'll be a whole process. As soon as you can't see it on the other side, yeah. Good. But it looks much better than before, oh, dude. Yeah. You should, guys should have seen it. <laughs> should have seen it earlier. It was terrible. So, yeah, we're just fin finishing this up. And uh, we just have to put the front bumper back on. And we'll be done. And I'll show you that right. just in a bit. It's not perfect to me I don't think it is like I had a hard time like trying to align this to get it to like I don't know like like align the like how far it's gonna stick out here like you know what I'm saying so I aligned it this way pushed it a little back here so it could align with the holes and some of the holes were already pre-drilled or whatever on the on the CS style front lip that I have and uh, it made it easier a little bit easier but for me this was it was a pain in the ass but it was fun to do don't get me wrong I think this mod is gonna look freaking awesome it's just a little time consuming when it's your first time putting one of these on uh, it didn't come with instructions. I, I know this is pretty straightforward for everybody else, but I think I needed I needed a little bit of instruction here, especially here. Like which way you're gonna line it up? Does it have to line up all like flush here or flush here? Again, you need to make that decision yourself. Some of the holes line up, and some of them they don't. Meaning you have to like drill new holes through the bumper. I had to drill all new holes through the through the bumper or whatever. But anyway, guys, let me uh, show you the final product here. All right, guys. So it's been a couple of days since we did the install. It's been raining and uh, I've been busy, so I haven't done the follow-up video of what it looks like. But uh, this is what it looks like. I think it looks great. And uh, bam. This is what the car looks like with the 
arrow flow, arrow flow dynamics front splitter I didn't get the rods because I really didn't want to pay $79 for two sticks so yeah um, I got the the sticker on there because I didn't want to miss out on that uh, you know five hood five horsepower you know what I'm saying but uh, overall the car looks freaking awesome let me see if I could get you a better view from up here that's what it looks like it was a pain in the ass to put on because the screws that they provide and no instructions by the way or spacers I thought this thing would bring spacers anyway the screws that go on like right up here like in here that go through the bump uh through the split uh through the splitter then the front lip then the bumper or whatever they're really long so there's like a plastic like right here it's like in here it's right in here there's a plastic that um if the screws are too long it'll hit so meaning the bumper won't align like it won't go in like if you could see here see this this little gap here I got like the clip on and everything but it shouldn't be this like this gap this big it should be something like this a bit closer you know what I'm saying but um the bumpers not gonna go anywhere it's not gonna fall or anything it's just since the screws are hitting even though I cut them this they, they still hit for some reason Damn it. fucking keys so yeah so the screws that are in there um they're too long so they hit that this plastic that's under there I, I don't know what the hell it's called but there's a plastic under there I should have showed you but I don't have a picture of it and it hits so it makes it harder for this piece to come up here in a line you know what I mean so right now you see that little gap because it's pulling down you know because there's a little it's hitting a little bit down here but anyway other than that it looks great it's just a little bit of a pain in the ass to put on you know what I mean but looks awesome as you can see makes the car look even lower what do we have? Yeah, it makes it look super low I love the way it looks I recommend anybody to get it just hopefully yours comes with instructions and the instructions that I'm talking about I know you might be saying like oh what instructions it's pretty straightforward just drill no do you want to align it here or do you have to align it here like flush with the CS style front lip or do you just push it forward a little bit so it could come out more here you know what I mean I, I didn't know this here also how wide do you want this or how wide is it supposed to be because you gotta pull this a little bit so you could create that little space right there if not this is gonna touch with this here so you know it would have been nice if they would have like at least told you how far or something I know it sounds stupid or whatever like I should know what I want or, or whatever but a little instruction would have been good but anyway other than that the, the car looks freaking great I got more mods coming guys um, I'm just waiting for them uh, two of them take like a month to get here or whatever one of them should be coming in tomorrow so stay tuned for that so I'm gonna have more videos guys on the car installs and uh, more mods Oh, and also check out my Instagram on my Instagram. I post a lot. I'm more active on my Instagram I post a lot of behind the scenes and a lot of other things about the car is always about the car. Anyway guys Thank you for watching um, Like comment and subscribe check out my Instagram at holy fuck is the same thing and uh, I'll see you on the next one